Hello everyone, pour cola into eggs and it tastes so good. Many people have never eaten or seen, even picky children have to fight to eat it. Let me share with you today, delicious and nutritious ways to make eggs. Just add a bottle of coke and stir it with chopsticks. It turns into gourmet food in no time. First we prepare a big bowl, crack in 4 decent eggs, then pour the coca-cola in. Add about 150 milliliters of cola to 4 eggs. Then use chopsticks to break up the eggs. When we are beating eggs, you have to pick them up and beat them like this. This makes it easier to produce rich foam. The egg liquid after beating in this way will be more fluffy. Stir until the cola and eggs are fully combined. Just like this sticky and delicate state is fine. After beating, set aside for later use. Then prepare a basin. Add 250g plain flour. Add another pinch of salt. A spoonful of 13 incense to increase the fragrance. Then use chopsticks to mix thoroughly. After stirring evenly, then slowly pour in the cola and egg liquid. Pour and stir constantly, because cola is rich in carbon dioxide, equivalent to sodium carbonate. That's baking soda, so as to play a role in promoting the, the pasta tastes soft and crispy. Stir thoroughly with chopsticks. The longer you mix, the finer the flour will be, the better the taste. During the stirring process, we can see that there are many bubbles in the batter. If you find that the noodles are sticky, then there is too much flour added, then we can add coke into it in small amounts and many times. Finally stir it into a thicker yogurt-like consistency. That's it. Then cover with plastic wrap. Set aside to wake up for more than half an hour. The longer the batter rests, the more gluten will appear. The taste is even better. Take advantage of this time. We prepare a handful of washed green onions. Cut the green onions with a knife. We can chop a little more green onion. Add more green onions to make it more fragrant and more delicious. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Now our batter is almost awake. The batter has a lot of small bubbles. It means you've woken up. Then add the chopped green onions. Then use chopsticks to mix thoroughly. Elevate the batter by the way. If you don't like chopped green onions, you can also add leeks. You can use any vegetables you like. After mixing evenly, set aside for later use. Add a little more cooking oil to the pot. Turn on medium heat and heat the oil. Heat the oil until it is 5 to 60% hot. Put down the chopsticks. Just make dense small bubbles. Then prepare a spoon and put it in the oil pan to scald it. After it's hot, put a little oil in a spoon. Then we add the batter. It won't stick to the spoon. Then put it in the oil pan and blanch it for a few seconds. After a few seconds of ironing, the batter will automatically fall off the spoon. Then we use the same method to do the next one. By the way, turn over the one that has just been shaped. Just use the same method. Put all the batter into the pan. After all the batter is put into the pan, it will expand and set. Then turn to medium heat and fry slowly. The fire here can't be too small. If the fire is too small, the batter will not float easily, and easy to absorb oil. Then use chopsticks to keep turning it so that it is evenly heated. Fry until golden and crispy on the surface. Like this, you can fish it out and control the oil. How to make egg bubbles. Looks very appetizing. Freshly made egg bubbles with crispy outer skin, soft inside, and the aroma is strong. Even picky eaters like it very much. It is also a good choice to use it for breakfast. The method is also very simple. No need to knead the dough. No need to roll it out. Especially suitable for friends who don't know how to cook. The inside is fluffy and soft. Delicious and tasty. It's more delicious and nutritious than fried dough sticks bought outside. Even though it's fried, it doesn't absorb any oil inside. If you also like it, quickly collect it and give it a try. Hello everyone. Many people bought peanuts back, either fried or boiled. Today I will share with you a new and different way to eat. Add a handful of garlic. Tastes better than boiled food. More fragrant than fried ones. And you won't get angry if you eat too much. First we prepare an appropriate amount of peanuts. Then put the bad peanuts inside. Pick out the moldy peanuts. Don't want. Moldy peanuts taste bitter. It also has certain toxicity. So be sure to clean it up. After picking it up, pour it into a larger bowl. Then pour boiling hot water and soak for about 5 minutes. Soak the peanuts until the surface becomes slightly wrinkled. Just like this. Then use a slotted spoon to strain out the peanuts. Put it in a drain basket to dry the water. To save time, 
We can use a hairdryer or electric fan. Quickly dry the moisture on the surface. When blowing, blow and turn at the same time. It works faster this way. After drying the surface moisture, pour it out again and spread it out flat. Thoroughly dry the moisture inside the peanuts. After drying, pour it into a large bowl and set aside. Next, prepare a piece of peeled ginger, cut into thick slices. Prepare a handful of garlic and cut it into thin slices. After cutting, put directly into the bowl of peanuts. Then add 4 star anise. Break it apart piece by piece. This makes it easier to taste. Add appropriate amount of bay leaves, a handful of Sichuan peppercorns, a spoonful of 5 spice powder. Finally add a spoonful of white wine to enhance the flavor. Then mix it thoroughly with your hands. Uniform. Let every peanut be evenly coated with spices. Mix well and set aside to marinate for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, turn on the heat and heat the pot. After the pot is hot, add 300 grams of edible salt. Then turn on medium heat and stir fry evenly. Fry until the salt becomes slightly hot. Pour the peanuts in again. Then continue to stir fry evenly. Initially, the surface of the peanuts will be coated with a layer of salt. Because we added liquor, there will be a little moisture on the surface of the peanuts. After stir frying for a few times, the water will be dried out. The salt will fall off automatically. At this time we have to keep stir frying. Turn on low heat and stir fry slowly. If the fire is too high, it will be fried easily and become bitter. Stir fry for about 2 minutes. We can see that the salt slowly begins to turn yellow. At this time, we still need to continue stir frying. This is what it looks like after frying for about 5 minutes. I can already smell the strong fragrance. Then continue to stir fry. Fry for about 7 minutes. We can hear. Peanuts make a crackling sound. Then turn to the lowest heat and stir fry for about 2 minutes. Fry all the spices inside. The garlic and ginger slices have been fried dry. The table salt has turned brown. That's almost it now. At this time, the peanuts are already fried. Let's take a look. Peanuts can fall apart with just a pinch of your hands. Then use a slotted spoon to filter out the peanuts. After filtering, put it into a plate. Wow, it smells so good. The remaining salt can be put into the crisper. Save it for next time. The more times this salt is baked, the peanuts will be more fragrant. Peanuts made in this way. It tastes very crisp. The more you eat, the better it tastes. Once you eat one, you can't stop. Peanuts made this way are healthier than fried ones. More flavorful. If you also like it, quickly collect it and give it a try. I will update different food videos every day. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support.